Hi guys, welcome back. Um, today we will be seeing two games, the first of which will be an away game against Southampton and the second game will be a EFL Cup quarter final against Chelsea. I've played a few games offline so I'll quickly show you the results from them games but then we will get into the first game against Southampton. Okay, so the first game I played after the uh, Man City game, you kind of knew I already, I'd won it because I've just said we're in the quarterfinals, but it was a nice 2-0 win against West Brom in the fourth round of the EFL Cup. I um, played a few, you know, made a bit of a, a rotation squad. Uh, it was a nice comfortable win. We dominated the game. Um, Mkhitaryan and Rashford getting on the score sheet and a very nice win. So I'll show you the next game. Okay, so we followed that up with a 3-1 victory over Stoke. This was actually a very hard-fought victory. If you look at the formation, Stoke actually didn't finish this way. Um, they pulled back, uh, took Bojan off after about 30 minutes and put on a defensive midfielder. So it was like a 4-1-4-1 defensive. So very, very difficult to break them down. Uh, we went 1-0 up. They then equalised on the counter-attack with Bojan. Um, then Rashford got us a, a second goal in the 76th minute and uh, Martial finished that off in the 85th minute. As you can see from the stats, it was a fairly close game. But as I said, Stoke were very defensive, kept trying to catch us on the counter. But we got the win, which is the main thing. So I will show you the next game. OK, so we got a 1-1 draw with AEK Athens in the Europa League group stages. I thought we were going to lose this game. As you can see from the stats, we absolutely dominated. Uh, again, I played a, a slightly rotated lineup. Um, we just couldn't break AEK Athens down. They had ten men behind the ball. They scored a they scored a penalty and parked the bus basically. Um, I'll show you this goal because Depay's equaliser was actually a very very good call. Um, in the ninety first minute to get us the the one one draw. So look at this, fantastic goal. Got us a draw. Happy with that. We're through to the uh, the first knockout round now. So I think there's one more game or two more games, so I'll quickly show you them results before we get into the Southampton game. So we had a nice 1-0 win against West Ham. Uh, Marcus Rashford with a goal. He seems to be scoring quite regular at the moment. Uh, again, fairly close game, close with possession. We had one more shot than they did, same amount of shots on target. But we came away with the victory, thankfully. Uh, again, another win. We're still unbeaten as this, uh, as this game stands. So I think there's two more games. One was a... Uh, Europa League game, one's a Premier League game, so I'll show you the results of them too. So firstly, we had a 2-0 win against uh, Middlesbrough, very good performance. First one was an own goal by Colin Chambers, second goal was a goal from Paul Pogba. Dominated the game, they only had two shots on in the whole game, we had 22. Very, very comfortable win, very happy with that. And finally, we had a 4-0 win over Luda Goretz. Um, again, played a rotated lineup as I have done for pretty much all the Europa League games this year. Um, so obviously a goal, an own goal from Jose Luis Palomino and then Daily Blind, Memphis Depay and Zlatan Ibrahimovic got on the score sheet and a 4-0 win. So as you can see from the competition screen, um, we are currently top of the Europa League group, 4 wins, 1 draw, 13 points. We are through to the next round, um, 1 more win will secure that top spot. We are currently second in the Premier League, still unbeaten, game in hand over City. If we win our game in hand over Southampton, we will go back top of the league. Um, so without further ado, let's have a look at the squad for today's game. Okay, so this is how we line up. Um, Juan Mata's picked up an injury, unfortunately, and will be out for that's uh, five to nine days. He's been out for a couple of weeks. Um, so we start with the hearing goal. Raphael, Smalling, Bailey and Shaw make up the back four. Under Herrera and Pogba in midfield, as usual. Mkhitaryan on the right, Martial on the left. Career in for the injured Mata and Ibrahimovic up front as Marcus Rashford is not quite fully fit. I'm actually going to take him off the bench because he's not quite fit and I don't really want to risk him. So I'll put Rooney on the bench. Um, on the bench we've got uh, Korchia, Schneiderlin, Fosu Mensa, Marcus Rojo, Daly Blind, Memphis Depay and Wayne Rooney. So let's get into this game and hopefully we can get a victory and get back on top of the Premier League. Okay, so we're starting with a control mentality uh, structured team shape and the same instructions we've played pretty much all season. Um, so let's get this game kicked off and hopefully we can get a win. So almost half an hour into the game and with the first highlight, Rodriguez on the ball gives it to Jordi Classy. Nathan Redmond back to Rodriguez. Rodriguez is through here, gets the shot away, saved by De Gea. As you can see from the stats on the left hand side, we're having the better of the shots and possessions so far. Very little in the way of highlights. It's Rafael with a throw in, gives it to Angel Correa and a Herrera. Back to Pogba. Gives it back to Herrera, over the top for Rafael. 
Jose Font goes back to the keeper. Ibrahimovic nips in, gets the shot away, gets the goal that we were looking for. 1 0. Bit fortunate to get the goal there, but Ibrahimovic predicted that there may have been a mistake from the defender. There was. He got on the end of it and scored the goal, as any good striker would. 1 0. So Foster, uh, Foster with the goal kick gives it to Virgil van Dijk. Gives the ball away. It's Anthony Martial. Finds Angel Correa. It's Ander Herrera. Herrera out wide to Raphael. Raphael tries to get the cross in. It's blocked. Malumbu's going to pick this up. He runs at the defence. Small in with a good tackle. And Ibrahimovic might be in again here. Zlatan Ibrahimovic hits it wide. So Tadic with a throw in. Gives it to Ryan Bertrand. Back to Tadic. Plays it to the edge of the box for Jose Font. It's Oriol Romeu. Malumbu to Redmond. Nathan Redmond is through, gets the shot away. Good save from De Gea. So Tadic with a corner into the box. De Gea comes out and collects. So we're going at half time. Very comfortable first half. We have a 1 0 lead. Uh, we've got much better possession. We've got, we're, getting, we're getting more shots on goal. So happy with the first half so far. Uh, I'm going to tell them this, this played well, but there's still room for improvement. I don't want them to think that the game's won and they can just sit back and relax, basically. So. We'll get the gate the second half underway and hopefully we can uh, get another goal or two and cement this victory. We are moving back to the top of the table with a win here, so that's good. Well, Tadic with a throw in. Mkhitaryan wins the ball, but it's only as far as Ryan Bertrand. Goes back to Oriol Romeu. Finds Jordi Classy. Up to Nathan Redmond, who finds Cedric. Cedric Suarez into the box. Charlie Austin, 1-1. Fairly undeserved, I have to say, but it happens. So it was Redmond with the ball out to Cedric Suarez. He got the ball into the box, and Austin cut in front of his man and managed to get the shot away. I'm going to go attacking, because we are still seeing much more of the ball, and we're still getting... We still dominating the stats, so I'd be I'll be disappointed if we don't win this. So if we go to a bit more of an attack, attacking mentality, hopefully we'll create a few more chances. I'm going to make a change as well. I'm going to bring on Memphis Depay for Martial. Uh, I'll just leave it at the one change for now. I may take Raphael off actually. Yeah, I'm going to take Raphael off for Cartier. Yeah, he seems to be struggling. He let he let uh, Cedric in to make the cross, kind of at fault for the goal. So. So we're into the last 10 minutes. I'm going to make the final change of the game. Kind of limited. I'm going to bring Rooney on, actually. He's not played at all this season. Keep him as an advanced playmaker. Uh, in fact, I may make him a shadow striker. Try and be a bit more attacking. It's his first appearance this season. He uh, he will be leaving in January, I would suggest. He's on 245 grand a week. And... He's had a serious injury and it has ruined him on this game. Mkhitaryan with a corner at the box. Bailey was there. It's cleared away. Rooney to Pogba. Pogba out wide to Mkhitaryan. Gives it to Sebastian Cortier. Gives the ball away to Bertrand. Surely they're not going to get the ball here and counter. So Austin picks the ball up. Surely not. Not this way. Austin. Don't know what happened there but we won the ball back. Virgil van Dijk now. Gives it to Ryan Bertrand. Bertrand to Steve Davis, to Yosef Malumbu, gives it back to Bertrand, into Malumbu, Oriol Romeu, Sophie and Buffal. I'm a big, big fan of Buffal. I think he's going to be really good at Southampton in the next couple of years. Charlie Austin, tackled by Bailey, there's the full-time whistle, 1-1, disappointed with that, we were we battered them in, uh, in terms of the stats, didn't get the win. Uh, we're still second in the league, we're still unbeaten, I'm not overly disappointed, although I would have liked to win this game. I'm going to tell them I am unhappy because we should have won, we should have won the game. Um, but it's not it's not the worst result, we could have, could have lost the game, but we didn't. So let's move on to the Chelsea game, let's see if we can get into the semi-final of the EFL Cup. Okay, so this is how we're going to line up against Chelsea. Um, I've made a few changes again. It's the EFL Cup, and throughout the whole season, I've, I've played a bit of a rotated lineup. So, despite the fact it's Chelsea, I'm going to do the same now. Um, I've relied on the likes of Fossi, Mense, Romero, uh, Corsi, Rojo. They've played pretty much every EFL game, so I'm going to stick with them. Um, so, uh, Romero's starting in goal. Corsi, Fossi, Mense, Rojo, and Shaw at the back four. 
Herrera and Pogba in midfield, Mkhitaryan on the right, Memphis on the left, Correa and Rashford up top. On the bench we've got Raphael, Schneiderlin, Smalling, Fellaini, Daly Blind, Anthony Martial and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. So let's get into this game. I'd really like a win from this. I'm getting to the semi-final of the EFL Cup. I'd like some silverware in this first season. So I, I think we've got a good chance. We're, obviously the FA Cup hasn't started yet. Um, we're in the quarter-final of the EFL Cup. We're through the, group, the uh, first knockout round of the Europa League. We're towards the top of the league table. So I think it's looking quite promising this series so far. But I'd like a piece of silverware in the first season. So let's get this game underway. And like I said, let's get a victory. Just before we start this game, I'd just like to point out Chelsea's formation. I have never ever seen anything like this before in my life. What is going on there? How defensive could that be, possibly? They have three centre-backs, two wing-backs, two central defensive midfielders, and then nobody in the centre of midfield. And then they have two wingers and a striker. I've never seen anything like that before. Just leave a comment if you've seen a formation like that before, because I haven't. Um... This is yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Let's get the game underway and see how it goes. So Luke Shaw with a throw in. Looks for Correa, it's cleared by Aspilaqueta. Memphis to Pogba. Paul Pogba gets a shot away. What a finish. 1-0. What a start. I'll just quickly show you before it shows the replay. Once I saw that formation, I made a few changes to my instructions. So obviously it's gonna be I thought it was gonna be quite difficult to break them down. So I told them to retain possession, pass into space to try and get it through the gaps in the in the defence. And work the ball into the box. Uh, obviously, I appreciate that was a long shot from Pogba. Uh, I do instruct him to shoot more often. So, my tactic, you know, my instructions haven't really made a difference there. But we're 1 0 up, so I don't really care. What a strike from Paul Pogba. Right into the bottom corner. 1 0. So, Romero with a goal kick. Matic heads it away. Hazard picks the ball up, gives it to Diego Costa. Back to Hazard. Hazard can run at the defence here. Gives it back to Nathaniel Chaloba. Chaloba, whatever you want to call him. Kennedy to Aspilicueta. Good tackle from Shaw. Pogba to Memphis. Memphis to Ander Herrera. It's Angel Correa. Correa is tackled by Matic. Wins the ball back though. That's good work. Pogba to Herrera. Ander Herrera tackled by Kurt Zuma. Gives it to Korshia. Into the box. Memphis was there. Zuma gets it away. Pogba wins the header. Courtois collects the ball. Looks like we're going to be going in at half time 1 0. Yep, so that is half time. We're 1 0 up. We're on top. I'm very happy. So I'm just going to tell the guys I'm happy with your performance so far. Let's get back out into the second half and let's get a victory. So we're into the 73rd minute. So I'm going to make a change. There's literally been no highlights from this second half. I'm. I'm going to bring on Morgan Schneiderlin for Pogba. Uh, I'm going to use him. I'll use him as a ball winning midfielder. I don't want a box to box. I think it might leave us a bit open. Um, so I'll just leave it at that for now. I am going to quickly check. Pause the game. I'm going to check Chelsea's formation. They're still playing defensive. I keep checking it to make sure they're not going to go attacking because I'll have to change my uh, instructions. But they're sticking with their defensive lineup. So we'll just see how the game goes, I suppose. Moses gives the ball away, it's Pogba to Memphis, to Angel Correa, to Rashford, skips past his man, gives it to Ander Herrera, to Mkhitaryan, good ball to Korchia, cuts it back to Mkhitaryan, gives it to Paul Pogba, Pogba's tackled by Rugani, it's Batshuayi now, he's got a runner on the right hand side in Aspilicueta, finds him, Aspilicueta runs with a ball, gives it to Hazard, saved by Romero. Quite disappointing from Hazard there, obviously I'm not going to complain, but... I feel he should have done better with that. So, just approaching the 80th minute, I'm going to make another change. I, I'm going to take off, actually, I'm going to go to the tactics screen as I'm going to take off Rashford and I'm going to go a little bit more defensive and um, just see if we can keep hold of this win. I'm going to bring on Fellaini and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put Schneiderlin into a defensive midfield position. I, um, I'll play him... I'll play him as a defensive midfielder on defence, see if we can just stay nice and tight at the back. I'll put Correa on attack so we do still have, kind of a bit, a bit like a false nine, so we still have a, a attacker up top, if you will. Um, so we'll leave it at that for now, and we've got about 14 minutes left of this game. Hopefully we can see it out, it'll be a very, very nice win if we do. 
So, and Herrera wins the flick on. Correa to Fellaini, back to Herrera. Finds Memphis Depay. Depay is fouled by Cahill. That's going to be a red card. He lunged into that tackle. Even the little circle blob looked like a bad tackle there. Red card for Gary Cahill. We surely have now won this game. Memphis Depay to take the free kick to Angel Correa into the box. And that's the end of the highlight, apparently. Let's just check Chelsea's formation again. They've now changed to a 3-4-1-1. So I'm going to change from control to standard. And I'm going to instruct the... I'm going to re remove retain possession. And I'm going to put mixed pass in. Clear the ball to flanks. Um, just to clear the ball up the field so that we're not... Remove work the ball into the box. Um, be more disciplined and stick to positions. I don't want people getting caught out of position. Close down more. We'll leave it at that for now. There's only four minutes left. Hopefully we can see the rest of this game out. So about 30 seconds left. Probably this may just be the full-time highlight. Alonso wins the header. What on earth was Corchia doing there? Thankfully he's recovered. Jesus. Herrera on the ball now. Finds Angel Correa. Correa, nice little turn and a pass to Fellaini. Fellaini looks for Mkhitary and the ball's going to be too heavy. But there's five seconds left. And the full-time whistle has gone. Lovely 1-0 win. We're through to the semi-final of the EFL Cup. Very, very disciplined game. I trusted in my players, and they've just shown me why I should have done that. That'll be all for today's episodes, guys. episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you next time.